Hello friends, welcome to the YouTube channel Health Cube, the place where my mission is to motivate you to look at the brighter side of the health. I am your host physiotherapist Meghna Dave, and in today's video I would be talking to you about carpal tunnel syndrome. On Mondays, what I usually do is I create videos related to neuromuscular disorders or its neurological conditions. That is something that is related to central nervous system or else your nerves. And carpal tunnel syndrome is also one such problem. So, what it is? Why does it happen? What are the symptoms that you will experience? How it is diagnosed? And how it can be managed? We are going to talk about all these things in today's video. So, make sure to watch this video till the end to understand for at first place what is carpal tunnel syndrome. Then in the upcoming video that would be released on the next Monday, I would be sharing with you some of the exercises that are easy, simple to do and can be done at home and when it should be done. So make sure to stay tuned with me on this channel. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a condition in which one of the nerve of your hand which is called as median nerve gets compressed. Compressed due to pressure that comes on it. So basically median nerve is a nerve that supplies to the hand muscles. This nerve starts from your arm and go through the passage of your wrist. This is where there is a tendon sheath around your wrist which is called as the carpal tunnel area which connects two of the bones and below this sheath the carpal uh, below this sheath this nerve passes and then ends in your hand basically your fingers and hand overall or else you can say the palm region this nerve is responsible for your finger movements as well as thumb movements except your little finger yes. Whenever there is compression that happens at the carpal tunnel region, which as I mentioned lies at your wrist region, at that time this compression causes the symptoms of carpal tunnel. So what are the common symptoms that's associated with carpal tunnel syndrome? First symptom is burning sensation. You will experience kind of burning experiences in your hand and your wrist region. You will also experience tingling numbness in your fingers. Sometimes there would be itching as well as numbness in your fingers. And also this numbness can then gradually go to your palm and thumb region as well. So basically the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome is burning, burning sensation, itching sensation, tingling numbness which is present in your palm, your thumb, your fingers except your little finger. Gradually this tingling numbness develops into weakness of your hand muscles due to which your grip gets impacted. Holding things becomes difficult and if you don't do anything about it and if the symptoms keeps on increasing then you will start experiencing some shock kind feeling in your finger region and gradually the tingling numbness will also move upwards towards your periphery that means you will start experiencing this tingling numbness in your forearm and arm region as well. But this happens in the late stages. You will also experience that your fingers get numb, especially when you sleep. And when you sleep with your hand underneath your ears, at that time when the pressure increases on the nerve, at that time the symptoms also increase. After sleep, when you wake up in the morning, this numbness persists and sometimes this as the symptoms worsens, as the condition worsens, goes up to your shoulder region. Mostly a person who suffers from carpal tunnel syndrome will experience flaring up in his symptoms, especially when he holds something in hand and then extend the wrist or else bends the wrist. For example, while driving a car, when you are driving, you are holding the steering and then you are rotating. When this rotation is happening, there is bending of the wrist also to an extent. At that time, there is the symptom of tingling, numbness, burning, all this kind of symptoms starts getting flared up. And gradually, there is reduction in the muscle strength, which makes the day-to-day -day activities of hands difficult. But now the question arises, why at first place this carpal tunnel syndrome happens to someone. So what are the causes of carpal tunnel syndrome? Basically the people who do repetitive hand activities due to their occupation will experience carpal tunnel syndrome more. Hence repetitive motion is one of the biggest cause of carpal tunnel syndrome. People suffering from hypothyroidism are also more prone to develop carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is also seen in patients suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. Pregnant women also experience carpal tunnel syndrome very often. People who are obese 
and people who have diabetes mellitus are the group of people who will need or else will get carpal tunnel syndrome and this pre-existing condition are itself the cause of the problem. However, there are few people who are at higher risk of developing carpal tunnel syndrome than others. These people are the ones who have the family history of carpal tunnel syndrome. The people who are in occupation that require a lot of repeated hand activity and repeated continuous usage with forceful movements are also at risk. For example, teachers. Teachers have to write for long. They have to use their thumb and fingers to do paperwork correction and stuff like that for a long hours, which puts continuous pressure on their carpal region or else their wrist region causing carpal tunnel syndrome. Even computer workers or as IT professionals who have to use mouse for long hours, they also experience carpal tunnel syndrome very often. Apart from that, assembly line worker, tailor, knitter, baker, cashier. These are the kind of occupations who experience carpal tunnel syndrome more often. But apart from that, injuries like wrist fracture and dislocation is also one of the biggest risk factor of getting carpal tunnel syndrome in future. Hence, the people who have got history of dislocation or else wrist fracture are at higher risk of getting carpal tunnel syndrome apart from others. Now the thing arises is how it is diagnosed. Whenever you get experience of tingling numbness in your hands or else burning sensation in your hand, it's highly advisable that you should see your healthcare professional. Doctors basically do your proper history taking in order to identify and understand the cause of the symptom. Apart from history, they do physical examination, which in particular to carpal tunnel syndrome is tunnel sign. Apart from that, some other diagnostic tests like X-ray, CT scan, MRI, ultrasonography, uh, nerve conduction velocity and electromyography test are used in order to diagnose carpal tunnel syndrome problem. Now, the thing is treatment how this condition is managed. Mostly the management of carpal tunnel syndrome is conservative which means with the help of medication and exercises or else you can say physiotherapy, carpal tunnel syndrome can be easily managed. But if the condition is worsened and it is, uh, it is to a point where the therapy or conservative management is not working, at that time surgical management is required. But there is one good news. The carpal tunnel syndrome problem is preventable. Yes, you can prevent your carpal tunnel syndrome if you take few steps. So what are the steps? Let's have a look. So the first and the important step that you can take in order to prevent your carpal tunnel syndrome is to modify your workstation. Mostly carpal tunnel syndrome happens due to your working habits, especially that is occupation related, which involves a lot of hand use. So make sure that you modify your activities and take care that you do not keep your hands or else your wrist more in extended position for long time. You can take the help of wrist splints which are good enough or else hand splints which are good enough to keep your hands in resting position. Apart from that, the second thing you can do in order to prevent your carpal tunnel syndrome is avoid forceful oral jerky flexion and extension of your wrist. This movement, if you are doing very forcefully, this could be a leading cause for carpal tunnel syndrome or else it could aggravate your symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome. Hence, make sure whatever activities you are doing or else whenever you are using your hand, don't forcefully or else in a jerky way move your wrist. Be gentle with your hand movements. The thing is keeping your hands warm. Yes, it has been seen that the people who stay in uh, temp cold weather, they are at higher risk of developing carpal tunnel syndrome. Keeping your hands warm is a good way to improve or else maintain good amount of blood circulation around your hand or else your wrist region, which is helpful to prevent carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms to flare up. So you can take the help of warm gloves or else uh, take the help of steam or else you can take the help of normal fire, bonfire where you can just warm up your hand. That is a good way to keep away the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome. Another good way of keeping your hand warm is just rubbing your hands like this. When you rub, there's a lot of warmth that is created in your hand and you will feel better with your symptoms. Take breaks wherever you can. That's the next thing. Yes, mostly carpal tunnel syndrome is due to repetitive stress. Hence, giving adequate breaks while you are doing your work is a good idea to prevent the carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms to flare up. So, if you are looking to prevent carpal tunnel syndrome, these are certain steps that you can follow in order to prevent your carpal tunnel syndrome problem. So friends, this was about carpal tunnel syndrome. In next video, 
that would be released next Monday, I would be showing some of the exercises that you can do in order to manage your carpal tunnel syndrome to an extent, especially in a milder cases. If you are interested in watching that video, make sure to press that bell icon so that you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. And do not forget to subscribe to Health Your Channel and make sure to like, share this video before leaving. Thank you.